going on guys, Leon Bratt here and in this video I'm going to teach you exactly how you can set up Don't Start Now by Dua Lipa on a loop pedal. If it's your first time here on the Leon Bratt Music Channel, I'd like to say a huge welcome. It's nice to have you here. My name is Leon Bratt. I'm a singer-songwriter and a loop pedal artist from the UK. I post twice a week on YouTube, every Tuesday and Friday. Also, I stream live on Twitch three days a week, every Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. All the links to all of those, including the Discord, are in the description below. And also, if this video does help you, then please do smash that thumbs up button and subscribe down below for more videos like this every single week week. Boss RC 300 time. Let's go, baby. Let's go. So as you can see now, up in the top right hand corner, we have got the Boss RC 300 loop cam. You can see my feet underneath here. There's nothing on here at all at the moment. So the very first thing we're going to do is set up our drum beat. And this is just going to be a very simple just a kick, snare, kick, snare. And at the end of the phrase, we're going to do a That's it. I like to do this on track three. Everything else is cleared. There's no, there's no tempo. There's nothing like that. I always like to have my beatboxing on track three, which is this one here. We've got track one here, these two, track two, and then we've got track three over here. All right, let's get the drums in. Let's go. So that's it. That's what we're going to have for the for the drums on that track. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to add a That's what we're going to add on track 2. So let's put that in. Let's go. Okay, so now we've got that we're going to now add in the bass line and that's going to go on to track one. So the next thing on the loop, I would like to go on to track two and just double up those hi-hats a little bit with some guitar. So that right there is all we're going to be using for the loop. And then everything else is just going to be the guitar, guitar chords. And just before we get into the verse, what we are going to do, we are going to stop track two. Because it just brings it into the verse a little bit. So we're going to stop it here. Just like that, okay? So again. Just like that. So at the end of the video, I will give you a more kind of in-depth vocal performance. I can't really do it at the moment because of how I've got the microphone set up for talking. Um, if I start singing into it now because I've got a very loud voice, I will be clipping the microphone and it's going to be distorting and it's going to sound horrible. So I'm just going to do like a very light, light voice at the moment. So once you've got all that set up, that is it. You're ready to go for the song. You are ready to go. See, I don't use any electric guitar for the first verse. I wait until the pre-chorus comes in, that's when I bring my electric guitar in. So if we're just about to start the song, we've got this up, then we'll do take the track two off and put it back on again. Here we go, like this. Did a full 180, crazy, thinking about the way I was. Did the heartbreak change me? Maybe, look where I ended up. Already, so I moved on. It's scary. I'm not where you left me at all. So, and then we're going to cut the whole loop. We're going to cut the whole loop there. We're going to go with an A minor. I, I play an A minor seven actually. So you go. If you don't want to see me dancing with somebody. That's where we're going to go. That's how the pre-chorus is going to go. What we're going to be doing in the chorus is like some funk. We want to funk on the guitar. So we're going to go 12, 12, 12 on the top three strings. These are all going to be the top three strings. Then we're going to come down to 7, 7, 7. And then we are going to go to 11, 12 and 10. 
and then 11, 10, 10. Okay? So with the bass line, this is what it's gonna sound like. One, two, three, four. So we've just gone from the pre-chorus. If you don't wanna see me like that. Don't show up, don't show up. And then you can bring that whole loop back in. Hit that start button on the loop. Let's get that going. Don't show up. Just like that, okay? And then in the second verse, we're gonna be doing exactly the same thing as the chorus, but we're just gonna go. So there we go, just have some fun with that, have a little play around with that, and let's do a, let's do a full cover of it. And then from there, you'd go into the pre-chorus and into the chorus and then do whatever the hell you want to do with the song. So there we go. That is how to set up a Dua Lipa's Don't Start Now on a loop pedal. If you're struggling with your beatboxing and how to get a great sound from your beatboxing, especially if you're a loop pedal artist, then I've done a video which you can see the thumbnail here and the card should be up in this corner here right now. So go and click on this link up here and there's a video for you there on how to get better with your beatbox and it goes through all the, all the sounds that you need and you might find that of some use to you. If you did enjoy this video, then please do smash that thumbs up button as hard as you can and subscribe down below for more videos like this every single week. Don't forget I stream on Twitch every Wednesday Friday and Saturday so it'd be great to have you over there and uh, yeah come and see come and see this live thank you so much guys I really do appreciate it I'll see you next week for the next video peace out